What's up everybody, this is the Warrior of Light. Just wanted to give a quick video on how to access and solve the 15 puzzle in Final Fantasy 1. First, on accessing it, usually you will hold, it says press A and B 55 times uh, simultaneously, but you really only have to hold down like the OK button and then just start mashing the cancel button until it pops up with the 15 puzzle game. The only different version is on the mobile. You have to put one finger on the screen and then tap anywhere else on the screen with your other finger. And just like that, it brings up the 15 puzzle. Now, unfortunately, in the version I'm playing, which is the Pixel Remaster for Steam, it does not provide any rewards for completing this puzzle. Fast, slow, it doesn't matter. Uh, same in the original NES version. I don't think there's any re rewards for doing this. Now, in the PS1 Origins, the PSP Anniversary, and the GBA version, and the previous mobile version, not the new Pixel Remaster, there actually was rewards and some really decent ones, like Emergency Exits, Hermes Sandals, Mega Elixirs, 10,000 Gil, just some really awesome early game rewards that will help you tremendously. This version does not. However, uh, there is an achievement for completing, or just playing this puzzle, not even completing it, but there's an achievement in Steam for just having played the puzzle. I'm going to show you the trick for how to complete this. There is a trick for completing it, simple, every single time. I'll walk you through that right now. The very first thing you're going to want to do is solve the first row by throwing one up in the corner and then two right next to it. And it's the, the two, I got lucky it was right there, but it's super simple to get it into that position. It, it shouldn't take any brain power at all. It's just a matter of moving pieces around. The next part, some people do struggle with because it can be kind of confusing. But all you got to do is put the four right here. And then it doesn't, once again, it doesn't matter where the three is in the puzzle. You just need to move the three until it is directly under the four. And then you will slide the four into its slot and the three directly under. And then you rinse and repeat for the second row. Five in the corner, six right next to it. And we got lucky again. Our, well, no, I guess we will have to fix this a little bit. So yeah, this could cause some people confusion when something like this happens. But all we're gonna do is put the eight exactly where the seven was. And then it's just a matter of putting the seven directly under the eight. And you might have to move things around a little bit, but it's it's relatively easy. Once you have the seven out of the eight, you slide them over into position. The last two rows are the most difficult if you don't know what you're doing. But it's very simple. Get the 13 right where it is, which is just by matter of luck, again, it's right where it's supposed to be. And you want to put the nine directly right of the 13. And then, again, it's a matter of just following one having the 9 follow the 13 into its slot like a train, like two different carts of a train. Then, uh, we got, by luck again, we happen to have 14 and 10 following each other, but the same thing, you want to put 14 right here, and if, if 10's somewhere else, you just want to slowly move it around until it's to the right of the 14. Sometimes it can be confusing, because you might have, um, you might have the 10 to the left of the 14. And while that looks like how you want to have it, that's not how you want to have it. You want the 14 where the 10 is. You want these two swapped around. And it's relatively easy to make that happen. Just by shifting them that way. So boom, now we got the 10 right of the 14. And you just slide them into position. And the last three blocks are super simple. You will, you will literally just, you can see how it's easy to finish right here, but you literally just rotate them around until they all fall into place. And it's that simple to solve. Hopefully that was helpful. Unfortunately, like I said, if you're playing the new Pixel Remaster that they just released on Steam and mobile, you will get no rewards, but you'll get the Steam achievement for playing it. But if you are playing the other versions, this is a great way to get some early help in the game, some money, especially in Provoca, uh, when you're trying to get maybe the... There's like an axe. I think, a, I think there's like a broadsword and a great axe there or something. I don't know. There's two good weapons there. And if you don't have enough, this could be an easy way to get a lot of that stuff, even before you go to Elfheim. So, thanks for watching. Hopefully, hopefully this was helpful to somebody. This puzzle can be very difficult if you don't know what you're doing. But thank you for watching. Bye.